Lastly, our final option is a frost-protected shallow foundation. This is ideal in cold climates or sites where soil depth is quite low, such as those with bedrock or ledge just several inches below the surface. Instead of having to dig the footings all the way down to the frost depth and installing the rigid insulation vertically, we can actually install the rigid insulation horizontally with an insulation skirt like this. Now, the strategy changes the isotherms so that the ground stays warmer underneath the slab and doesn't cause any kind of potential frost damage within the actual slab or footings. We want to make sure that the rigid insulation is installed continuously under the slab, which can be tricky, but it is possible. We want to install it in a waffle pattern, but you can use any rigid insulation of your choosing, whether it's rigid foam insulation or rigid mineral wool. We install our vapor barrier over the rigid insulation and we tuck it over the top of the slab. And then we want to flash over the top of the slab and the rigid insulation, and then down over the horizontal rigid insulation skirt with a self-adhered flashing membrane to protect it from damage from water, bugs, and weathering. Then we want to apply a protective skirt on the outside, which can be made of coil stock or cement board. Here in this detail, I'm using uh, coil stock, which extends all the way down to the horizontal insulation skirt. And then we want to flash the coil stock to the weather barrier. So here you can see how that flashing tape laps over the coil stock. We also have a foam sill gasket with sealant to help seal the sill plate connection. You could also apply an additional bead of liquid flash here for some extra redundancy. Now, this part is really crucial. We need to install a drainage mat with filter fabric or a dimple mat over the horizontal rigid insulation skirt to avoid saturating that rigid insulation. So any water that happens to drain down here will just drain into the perforated drainage tile. We want to make sure that all of this is bearing on compacted crushed stone, and we want to make sure that the drainage tile drains to daylight away from the foundation. For more information on insulating and preventing moisture issues for slab on grade foundations, go to my website at asiri-designs.com. There we have over 100 building science articles and resources that cover a wide range of topics, from remediating existing buildings to best practice details for new assemblies. Links will be in the description below. Good luck on your projects. Cheers.